it's Mrs. Drake with the clarinet and we are going to be doing lesson 22. Lesson 22. Um, I hope you've already warmed up on your scales, got yourself going, and let's take a look at lesson 22. And of course you should always have a pencil. Okay, lesson 22 is pretty challenging. Lesson 22 is pretty challenging. All right, so let's take a look at number one. And notice there's an F sharp key signature, F sharp key signature, and then there's the divisi. And as you look through the divisi, it's always in octaves, meaning if this one, if the top note is a G, the bottom note is a G also. So it is all in octaves like that. Okay, F sharp key signature, challenging. Both the high part of the divisi and the low part of the divisi, divisi are difficult. Okay, so let's start with the, the high part. I'm going to be playing the, the top notes of the divisi. Um, remember, F sharp is first finger with no thumb. Remember that the B's are going to be B natural. B natural with your left green. Okay. There is even up to a high G. Alrighty. F sharp. High F sharp is going to be middle finger of your right hand. High F sharp. There's also the DC fine. Remember that that means return to the beginning and then stop where the word fine is. So this is just a really, really challenging song. Um, the slurs go for the top and the bottom. I know they only wrote it on the bottom, but realize in a divisi situation, it means the top notes should be slurred also. Um, accents, that means flick your tongue a little harder than usual to make those notes a little bit louder. I'm not too picky about that. Um, so it's just overall, it's a very, very challenging song. So again, I hope you've already warmed up. I encourage you the first time for this one, it's called Irish Reel number one, is to lay your um, clarinet on your shoulder and just move your fingers and see if you can keep along with me. Um, again, it's a very challenging song. Then you might want to turn off the video and try it, but try it, you know, at a slow speed because I'm going to play it up to tempo. I'm going to play it um, for the speed that, the goal speed, the goal, kind of um, fast. So song number one. Ta 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 ti 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 ta. That's gonna be my speed for number one. Okay, so for I'm playing the top part, the top staff. So it's open G to high B. Remember left green for the high B. So everybody warm up the first measure of song one. <laughs> warm that up everybody. Okay. One, two, ready, go. challenging song really challenging song okay same song now I'm gonna play the bottom notes now I'm gonna play the bottom notes again remember F sharp key signature and remember the B's are gonna be middle finger B natural but also I want to point out there's a note that I don't think we've ever played before is the low F sharp see I highlighted it in yellow right here low F sharp oh my gosh okay so you're gonna to have to need to use your pinky Okay, but on a different key that we haven't used before. So, okay, three fingers on your top hand, three fingers on your bottom hand. And I marked mine with a blue piece of tape for the low F sharp. You know how this one is the green one? This one is the green. Notice it's next to it. That is the one that you use to play the low F sharp. So this is on your left hand, your left pinky. Look at the four different pinky keys, and this is the one that creates low F sharp. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to play a G. Three fingers on the top, three fingers on the bottom, and then I'm going to play a low F sharp. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. 
try that and you'll see if you can have your pinky on the correct key. If you have small fingers, it might be hard, but it should sound like this. Try that, everybody. Okay, song number one. I'm going to play playing the bottom notes. Again, you might want to just put it on your shoulder and follow me with your fingers because um, it's a challenging song. Practice it slow first, but then I hope eventually you can get where you can play it at this speed. Okay, everybody, song one, warm up the first measure. Okay, remember to use F sharps. One, two, ready, go. It's a beautiful song, but I think Irish Reel is maybe the hardest song in the whole book. Okay, let's go on to number two. It's called Shepherd's Hay. Okay, this one is pretty easy. Shepherd's Hay, it's cute. I think you're going to like it, and it is way easier than Irish Reel. Okay, so look at number two. Notice there's, there's no key signature. Also notice there's a DC Alfine. Notice, notice there's a DC Alfine. I think you're going to like number two. It's so much easier than number one. Okay, song two. Warm up the first measure. Okay, everybody, song two. One, two, ready, go. Take a look at number three. This one is called Sweet Molly Malone. I'm going to grab a little drink of water here. And on this one, we are going to play the high notes and the low notes. Again, they're written in octaves, meaning if, it, if the high note is a C, the bottom note is a C also. Divisi isn't always like that. In this book, they do it a lot where the high note and the low note are the same letter. But please realize that Divisi isn't always like that. Okay, so as you look through song three, Notice it starts on a pickup note. You know how there's supposed to be three beats in a measure, but this measure only has one beat, so that's considered a pickup note. Uh, incomplete measure, many times songs start like that. Okay, also notice that rhythm, the ta, ti, ta, the one with the dot, the dotted quarter, one and a half beats. But here on this measure, they put the eighth note first and then the dotted quarter note, so it's backwards, ti, ta. The short one first and then the long one. So if I was going to sing the Taz and Titi's using the nicknames from the beginning, I would lead it off with one, two, and then you enter on beat three. So one, two, ta, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, 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 ti, ta, ti, ta, 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 ti, ta, ta, ti, ta, 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 ta. So that's going to be the speed we're going on number three. 
Okay, check, there's no key signature, no key signature. Um, I'm gonna play the top notes, the top notes first. Andante, the word at the beginning means moderately slow, kind of like a walking pace. Um, so you can decide, are you gonna play the top notes with me, or do you wanna do the opposite? You could play the opposite, you could play the bottom notes while I play the top notes. It should sound beautiful together. Okay, everybody warm up the first two notes. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to lead it off with one, two. Here we go. This is song number three. One, two. so big so I really don't squeak much if your hands are small you might squeak a lot on that one, a lot on that one um, try not to get dis discouraged just keep trying you should know where your fingers are going I hope you know the names of the notes but if it squeaks try not to get discouraged your hands will eventually grow okay song three now I'm gonna play the bottom notes now I'm gonna play the bottom notes so decide are you gonna play the bottom notes with me or are you gonna try the top notes I'm gonna lead it off with one two one, two. is called Spring Bursts Out. All right, listen, everybody. I know it's written in a divisi, but I only am going to assign you to play the bottom notes. You do not have to do the top notes. I feel it's very challenging. It goes up to a high C that we haven't even learned yet. If you want to try it, go ahead, of course, but it is not on the assignment. So on Spring Bursts Out, the bottom song, you only have to practice the bottom notes of the divisi. Okay, so no key signature. There are a few slurs. Um, look ahead to like measure 11. You will notice that it goes up to the high B and the high C. Remember the high B is the left green and high C is right red. There are some slurs and no key signature. Okay, so the beginning is... <laughs> that's that's going to be the speed, so everybody go ahead and warm up the beginning. Okay, this is Spring Bursts Out. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> song on every lesson there's a recording that goes along with it so when you feel like you have spring bursts out under control I encourage you to find that recording that I sent you and play it along with it I think you'd enjoy it okay that was lesson 22 <laughs>